Hello everybody, it's Pina here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these wonderful wash mitts and they're made with waffle stitch, with the waffle stitch. <clears throat> now, I've got two types here, two variations you can look at and then you can decide whichever you'd like to do, but they're, they're made the same way exactly. This one is a two-tone um, colour, which is made with a milk cotton and milk cotton yarn and it's got a a little loop which you can hang it up and it's made with also with an edging which is a slip stitch edging at the end of it all and that one is a two-tone now this one here this wash mitt is just one color <clears throat> and it's um it's made with this like i said it's a cotton linen one which is perfect for using as a wash mitt and it's made the same way, um, same amount of rows, same everything, same waffle stitch and edging and just minus the um, slip stitch, which is like this. This one has got so you can add the slip stitch edging if you want to give it that extra trim or you can leave it plain like this one or you can do it like this one. This one hasn't got a loop on it, but I'll show you in the tutorial how to do to, to make a loop for it. For this tutorial, <clears throat> I'm going to use this yarn. But because I haven't got much left, I'm going to use the front. I'm going to make it two tone, just like this one, which is the, 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 the rainy day blue color and then a white yarn for the back. So I'm going to do white at the back. So it's a blue and white two tone. So <clears throat> I'm going to show you what you need for this um, tutorial. Now, for this project, I'm going to be using this yarn. Now this is really, really nice. It's a variegated color yarn and it's a cotton yarn. Actually it's cotton and linen and it's a three ply DK. And it's approximately 250 yards, this skein of yarn. Uh, the color is Rainy Day and it's by Zioli Yarns. And this is a very small um, hand and small batch and hand dyed by Paige Fitzgerald vest so this is who who makes this yarn if you wanted to buy some of this i've got it i've got the description in the link below and this website has many different yarns um which beautiful colors absolute beautiful colors it's all handmade hand dyed um and the colors are amazing you check out the website i'll put it in the link down below and you can see all the different colors that you can get this particular one is rainy day and uh, it's a beautiful blue look at that it's got dark shades of blue medium and sort of some light shades and then you've got a bit of white in there and it's wonderful and it looks like a rainy day it literally does it's fantastic brilliant so for this project i'm going to be using this yarn um you can use any other color if you want um you know do check up the website and see if you want to choose a different color or any other type of yarn that you've got but this particular yarn is absolutely amazing as I said it's cotton and linen mix so it's a really nice beautiful mix here and it feels lovely it feels nice and soft it's brilliant okay so let's get started now I've showed you the yarn that's um, the rainy day color for this side and I'm going to show you what I'm going to use on the other side um, this one here is made from a milk cotton yarn um, I can't remember the colour, but I'll put it in the description if I find the colour of this one. It's just some spare I had left over. If I do know the colour, I'll put that in the description box below if you want to do this colour combination. And um, yeah, so I'll show you. Let's get started. I'll show you what to do to make this one. So for this colour combination with white back, I'm going to use the white at the back, which is a DK. This is a... Uh, DK yarn and it's um, it's the same sort of as the other one similar very similar sort of strand as you can see they're similar width so they should go well together so I'm going to use that one for the back and I'm going to use this for the front okay the rainy day so and that's cotton and linen mix and this is cotton so I'm going to use them two together <clears throat> but we're going to start with this color first the rainy day so also to go with this what you'll need is um, a 3.5 millimeter hook 3.5 you can see that okay 3.5 millimeter hook 
you're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need a yarn needle just to sort of tie in your ends and you're going to need um, some you might need some stitch markers you may not but I'm, I, I'll probably use stitch markers in this video just to hold it together when I um, put the two back and front together <clears throat> so I'm going to need some stitch markers you may need them as well and yeah so let's get started on this beautiful mitt waffle stitch mitt it's very good for scrubbing because it's got that textured feel to it as you can see it's like a three-dimensional uh, stitch the waffle stitch uh, you may have used this stitch before but um, it really does well for a washcloth or a wash mitt it's really fantastic so good, let's get started on this one okay so go ahead and grab your yarn I'm using the rainy day one first to begin with and for this we're going to a chain a multiple of three and I'm doing 27 chains for this particular uh, wash mitt um, so 27 chains and then you just add two more extra to your 27 so let's start with 27 so yarn over your two fingers and pull your loop through and then tighten it onto your hook or whichever way you do your your starting knot okay so <clears throat> I've just now put that onto my hook and I'm going to do 27 chains. So let's get started with that one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. 27 chains. Okay, now what we're going to do is going to add two more to this. So yarn over and do two more chains. That's one, two. So you should have about 29 chains now. So what we're going to do now, we're going to start with our um, first row. Okay, now that you've done that, we're going to skip three uh, chains from starting from the first chain from the hook. So we're going to count back three, one, two, three. And in the fourth one, just there, we're going to do a double crochet. Now to do a double crochet, you just yarn over, pop your hook in, pull up a loop, pull through the first two loops and then through to to the next two loops so there you go so there you've got your your your, one, your first one there so now we're going to do it all the way through these chains so we're going to yarn over and into the next uh, chain pull up a loop pull through two pull through two yarn over into the next chain pull up a loop pull through two pull through two yarn over into the next chain Pull through two, pull through two, okay, yarn over, next chain, pull through two, pull through two. Now we're going to do this all the way along so that <clears throat> we reach the very end, the same, uh, the same thing all the way through, double crochet. So double crochet, double crochet. So, crochet, and you can see the colours coming through now as you're crocheting, you can see the blend of those pretty colours, different shades of blue, white and pale blue, so I'm just going to go through. Double crochet, double crochet, and then we've almost reached that end bit. Mm. 
Okay, so I've got just a few more. There we are. So now that you've done all your um, double crochets all the way along, we've got our last one here. I'm just going to go into my last one, the very end. Don't forget that very end one. So just pop your hook in, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Now we're going to chain two, we're going to chain up two to turn our work. So yarn over and do a chain of two. So that's two. Two chains, turn your work. Now this is the very first start, the uh, row of the the box boxes, the waffle boxes, if you want to call them that. So what we'll do now is we're going to yarn over, and we're going to do a double crochet, but front post double crochet into the very first. You see that very first double crochet from the first row. We're going to do a front post. So by doing that, we yarn over, we put our hook into the back of this post like so, okay, then you pull up the loop through the back, po back of that post, yarn over and pull through two and pull through two like you're doing a normal double crochet. That's a front post double crochet. So into the next two stitches we're going to do double crochet, just plain normal double crochet as you normally would on top of the last double crochet. So that's one, two, so that's two normal double crochets into the next double crochet, which is a uh, we're going to do a front post double crochet. OK, so yarn over, insert your hook into the back of that like so. And pull up the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's just a double crochet front post again. So in the next two, we're going to do uh, the normal double crochet. So insert your hook, do a double crochet, and insert your hook on the top of that one and do a double crochet. <clears throat> so the pattern is front post, two normal ones, front post, two normal ones, and then yarn over and front post again, like so. Yarn over and two, one, two, yarn over and front post. And that's all you do for this round. So continue the same way all the way to the end and I'll meet you when you get to your last two, two stitches or so and I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, so I've come to the end of this round and what we're going to do, we're going to do a front post. You should you should be left with two more stitches. You've got the front post and then you've got a normal um, chain, the chain two at the end that you began with at the, for, from the first row. So <clears throat> what we're going to do, we're going to yarn over. We're going to do a front post in that last one and do a double crochet front post, okay? So now you've got this last stitch. So what you need to do is just insert your hook at the top chain uh, anywhere there would be fine and just do a yarn, do a double crochet yarn over, do a double crochet and stick your hook in and then just do a normal double crochet. So you've got that strip looking like this. So that's how it should look where you've got two front posts right at the end and you've got this little dip on the sides, okay? So now what you're going to do, you're going to chain up two, one, two. Every round starts with a chain of two. So turn your work and now because we're going to form these boxes, okay, so let's turn over and be, what we're going to do now, you can actually follow what's there already. So now <clears throat> you can see already you've got the two lots of um, double crochets, that the front post ones. There are well, they're the back post actually, but they look like they're front post. Okay, on this side, they're front posted as you can see. So we're gonna follow that pattern. So what we're gonna do is yarn over and don't forget this very first one here, which is not 
the two front posts, you need to do a normal double crochet into there. So just do a normal double crochet into there. And now, because these two stand out now, we're going to go and do a front post. So yarn over and front post double crochet into the first. Yarn over and double crochet front post into the second. So now you've got this pattern forming. Okay, where it's because when you turn it over, it'll form the boxes. Okay, so this is the repeat. I think it's a two row repeat to make the boxes, the waffle boxes. So as you go, um, now we're going to go yarn over into the next one because it's a normal double crochet. Yarn over and into these two front ones that are sticking out, you do a front post double crochet. Front post double crochet and yarn over and a normal double crochet and then yarn over and two front post double crochet one two yarn over normal double crochet into there yarn over and two front posts one two yarn over normal front post normal double crochet sorry yarn over and two front posts and you're going to do this all the way along so that's what you're going to do all the way along okay because this is the back side of the work that's the front side of the work so keep going until we get to the very end and I'll show you what to do okay so we've come to the end of this round and we're going to do a last the last normal double crochet into the last stitch and we're going to finish off with where this chain two is, the top of the chain two here, we're going to do a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook and do your double crochet. There you go. Right, next round, we're gonna chain two, turn your work. Now I'm just gonna add that I've done 11 boxes in my mitt. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. And each box consists of a two row, two rows basically. So you'll need to bear that in mind on how long you're going to make this mitt. But I've got 11 boxes. I've made 11 boxes up. So make sure they are 11 boxes. They are square towards the end as well and not just half the box. We want the full box. So as you can see now, that's half a box. You see? So we need to do the uh, next round, which makes the full box. So it's a two row repeat to make the waffle box. So now I'm just going to start on this row. I've done my chain two, I've turned my work and I'm going to yarn over and because the prominent one is here now, you see, there's the prominent ones, you can see them and you just, what you do is you put your hook where they stand out. So I'm going to yarn over now and because I've, st I've got the first one as a front post, I'm going to do the front post on that one. So front post, double crochet, yarn over, and there's two, two normal ones there. So just two normal double crochet, one, two. And then we've got um, a front post. So yarn over and do the front post. So the pattern is taking effect now, as you can, as you can see. And then two normal ones. One, two, and then yarn over and then a front post. Two normal ones, double crochets, two normal double crochets, and then front post because that's sticking out. So as you can see, it's starting to look like a box now. Got one box there and one box there. So we're just gonna carry on, yarn over and two normal ones. Yarn over and an, a front post double crochet. Yarn over two normal double crochets. Yarn over and a front post double crochet. Yarn over normal two normal double crochets. Yarn over front post double crochet. 
yarn over to normal double crochets yarn over and a front post <clears throat> double crochet and then two normal two normal ones one two now <clears throat> just going to show you so now you can see the end is a is a front post just like we began with so that side has to be exactly like that side so again yarn over front post double crochet and then we're going to go in the top of the chain chain two that just there and we're going to put a hook in yarn over put a hook into there pull up a loop pull through two pull through two all right so that's how it's going to look okay now you, you need to repeat this um you need to because it's 11 boxes you need 22 rows in total so that's that's two rows and that's two rows. So 22 rows in total will give you 11 boxes. Again, if you want it smaller, if your hand's smaller or you, you want your mitt bigger, you can always make it longer. But I think this is just an average, it fits perfectly, look, on a hand, on a lady's hand. You know, I think it will fit a man's hand as well. It's pretty stretchy. So, you know, this is the, I think this is a perfect size, but if you want it any bigger, just do more boxes. Now, I'm just gonna show you one more row of this one now that you've done that so go ahead and do as many boxes as you want 11 boxes if you want to do the same as mine and 22 rows in total so go ahead and do that and I'll come back to you and then I'll show you what to do next okay so when you finished your 11 rows on the blue color um, that's what it's supposed to look like after 11 rows so I'm now going to just finish off this last box at the end um, by doing my last few stitches and and then I'll go into the top of that chain two okay so now what you do is just chain one and just tie off and you're going to cut your yarn and now that you've done that that's how it should look. Okay, so next stage is, we're going to do the back of the uh, the mitt. We're going to do it, I'm going to do it in white, like I said. So grab your white yarn. Now with this yarn, because it's slightly different than this yarn, unless you're using the same yarn, then you do the, the same amount of boxes, 11 on, on either side. But I may need to do a few more with this one because it's a slightly different yarn, but it will still go very well with this, um, just, just make sure that they measure up, the two, two sides measure up the same and make sure the boxes are full boxes, not half boxes, um, where you've just done one row of the box. Do always two rows of the box. So make sure you measure up. If you're using a different yarn, you know, do as many boxes as you need to match the front panel. So I'm gonna carry on now with the white. I'm gonna put that aside. And you do the same thing again. You start with 27. I'm just going to show you the start of this so you put a loop on your hook like that and then you chain 27 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24, 25, 26, 27. Same as before. And then you chain two more extra. So you've got multiples of three and then you always chain two on top. And for this, we're gonna skip, um, we're going to skip four chains, starting from the one from the hook. So that's one, two, three, four. Into the fourth chain from the hook, you do a double crochet just like you did before. And you just do exactly the same. You do a double crochet into every stitch thereafter until you get to the very end. So I'll let you carry on with that. Double crochet all the way to the end. 
Okay, so now that you come to the end and you've done your um, double crochets until the end, you're going to chain two again, like before. One, two, turn your work, yarn over, and front post double crochet into that very, that, that double crochet just there. Not this one here, but the one next to it just there. So pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over, and then you're going to do again two normal double crochets just like we did before so that's one two yarn over and front post double crochet into the next one yarn over and two normal um, double crochets so you've got that pattern going again so work your way to the very end and then I'll meet you back when you've finished this row. Okay, so I've come to the end of this round, uh, the second round, and we've got um, our last um, front post. So make sure you start with a front post, double crochet, and you end with one. And then you should have your chain at the very end. So you stick your hook into the top of that chain, chain two. So we're going to yarn over and do a double crochet into that uh, chain two space there sorry chain two stitch so yarn over pull through two pull through two and you should have that again same as before and it should obviously be the same width but the, bearing in mind we're going to do the the edging which is a double crochet edging so there you go so now carry on all the way through until you get the same amount of boxes that you need to measure up against the, I'll show you the other one, it's got to be the same length as this one. It may not be, like I said, the same amount of boxes if you've got a different yarn you're using, but if you're using the same yarn, it will be exactly the same amount of boxes, 11, and I may have to use more. So I'll work my way up until it reaches the same length and then I'll get back to you. So continue doing the same thing. And I'll see you in a moment when you've done all your boxes in the same method that you used for this one here. Okay, so I've done my uh, the back part of the uh, wash mitt and I've done a little bit more boxes. I've done 13, I think, as, as opposed to 11 because the yarn is different. So it's just it's it's just a bit more, but it does. It looks fine. You know, when you put it together, it's perfectly fine. It, it fits exactly the same, the same length, the same width and everything. So I'm going to now show you what to do to put these two together. But for, to start with, we're going to sew in our ends. So I'll show you how to sew your ends on one of them. And then you can then continue with the rest. So just grab your yarn into your needle, like so. And just find a spot where you can just put your yarn all the way through. I'm just going to put it into there, scoop it into that bit. Okay, and then just thread it through behind, any, anywhere it will do, as long as it's not showing. Just sew your ends all the way through. Okay, and then all the way back. back and forth until it's secure enough. There we go. So that should be fine. And then when you've done that, just snip off and you're confident that's secure, just snip it off and then do the others. You should have two ends to tie and two on this side as well. So I'll let you go and do that and then I'll come back to you when you've done that. Okay, so I've tied in all my ends, so they're all nice and neatly done. And now it's to assemble the two together. Uh, you're going to get, make sure you've got it the right way up. Um, that's the starting bit at the bottom and the right way round, of course. So I've got the starting bit at the bottom and the end at the top. And I'm just going to place them together like this and put my stitch markers in each corner. You don't have to do this, but I think it's just, it makes things a bit easier to level it up. So I'm going to get my end stitches and stitch mark them together and just pop your stitch marker any, any way you feel confident 
I'm just going to do mine like so and I'm going to do mine on the other side like so so you've got your two pieces nice and straight together and and then you can you don't have to stitch mark every corner but I I'm just going to do three corners and then start with the and just leave the first corner free so now you can have a choice after this now that you've done that you can have a choice whether to use a same color yarn you know like I did here or you can use the white contrast in which is like the back so you can have a bit of blue and a bit of white so I'm just going to do a different look today I'm going to do a contrasting color but again I used uh, the same color and this is just the double crochet edging in the same color so today I'll show you with the white to give you an idea of what it looks like. Okay, so grab your yarn and your hook. Now I'm, for this we're going to start with a standing double crochet stitch, which will be, um, I think I showed it in a video, and I've got a video on standing stitches, but it makes it look more nicer. So I'm going to do a standing stitch for this one rather than a chain three to start, because you can do a chain three to start, but it doesn't look as good. So to start with we're going to do a standing stitch which um, I'm going to have it in in the link description below I've got a video on how to do standing stitches and this is a double crochet standing stitch that we're going to do rather than a chain three because a chain three will look you can notice it but with a standing stitch it looks just like the other stitches so for this grab your yarn in your little fingers here just there tight hold it tight yarn over twice on your hook grab your work and in the space where the double crochet is at the very end and the very end double crochet of this one you see the spaces put your hook in like so and into the other one like so so now you can just pull through your yarn pull through two pull through two there you go that's a standing double crochet now don't let go yet, just hold on to that bit of yarn and do another one into the same space. So yarn over into the space, pull through two, pull through two. Oops, there you go. So now you can let go if you want and you've made your two double crochets to start with into there. Now we're gonna go all the way along and do double crochets. So for this, you're just going to use your imagination where each uh, space is. Now you've got spaces, I don't know if you can see, you might be able to see on this side. Yeah, you can see on this side, there are spaces here. And that's where you put your, your double crochets into these spaces. Okay, so I'm just going to show you, it's, there's no set way of doing it. It's just where you feel it's comfortably spaced out and space out your stitches. It doesn't have to be a certain amount, just spaced out. So for this, I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to put my hook into here and into the other side. Can you see? I've gone into the other side and I've gone into the front. of. So I've taken both, both sides together. Pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two again. Okay. And then yarn over, stick your hook in and grab the back as well. Grab both sides. Pull up a yarn, pull through two, pull through two. Can you see it's forming that um, that stitch, those those um, to, to 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 hold it together basically. So it's just going to combine them together. So carry on, yarn over into the next space that your hook can go in nice at ease. Do a double crochet into the next space where your hook can go in at ease, grabbing the back at the same time. Pull through, pull through two, pull through two. That's another double crochet. Yarn over into the next space. Pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over and into the next space. Do another double crochet. Can you see how it's taken effect now? It's making a nice little pattern. So I'm going to just put my hook in, grab both sides, and continue all the way all the way along until you get to the. <laughs> So you get to the very end, to the corner. So I'm just going to carry on doing a double crochet until we get to the corner. So 
So. Make sure they're spaced out and they're evenly spaced out. They look pretty good as you're going along. You can always undo it if there's if it's not looking as great as you want and then start again. So carry on doing that until you get to the corner and then I'll show you what to do at the corner. Just do a couple more so you can see how it's done. Make sure you grab the back at, at every time you, you do your double crochet so the back is grabbed. Okay, so carry on, go to the very end before you reach the corner, I'll show you what to do. Okay, now that you've done this side bit, we're going to work into the corner now. So take your stitch marker out and we're going to yarn over and we're going to do three double crochets into these spaces here. Can you see the space? There's a, there's a double crochet space and there's one at the back there too. So we'll put a hook into both sides. Okay, pull up a loop and do three, one, two and three, three double crochets into that corner space, like so. So you've got three there. So you're now heading for the corner. So now as you're going around, yarn over and into this very first single crochet, uh, double crochet, sorry, and the back one, we're going to yarn over and we're gonna put a hook into both, both double crochets from the previous round and then do a double crochet into that yarn over and both double crochets from the previous round do a double crochet yarn over and join in with the last two from both sides and make another double crochet so you're basically what you're doing is you're joining front and back double crochets from the last round just joining at the V because here you have the V um, v stitches so just carry on until you get to the end so I'm just going to go in and do that for, for you making sure you grab both sides double crochet Right, so now we're coming near to the corner again. So we literally just do our last, I think one or two. Let's just pop our hook in and do this last one here. And then I can show you how to do this corner. So take out your stitch marker again. And let's go to that corner bit. So we have the corner again and it should be a space there where the last double crochets were made. As you can see, so I'm just going to go into this last, I think, two stitches again. Sorry, that's one and yeah, two. So the last two stitches, and then we do the corner. So yarn over and again into the space, very end space there, and the very end space at the back. So you want both, and pull through the yarn, pull through two, pull through two. That's one in the corner. Now we need another two to make three. So that's one, two, and three. That's three in that corner as well. So three in each corner. So we've got three there and three there. Now, 
go ahead and work your way all the way down to the very end so make sure again that you go into every space ev evenly so let's do one there i think we'll hook into there and carry on just poking your hook into the spaces evenly making sure you always grab the back as well you don't want a gap at the back you don't you want it to be um, sewn together so okay so carry on and carry on with that until you get to the very end of this row and I'll show you what to do okay so I finished this side we've come to the end and I'm going to take my stitch marker out and we're just going to finish off I'm um, just going to put my hook into the last few spaces so that's the last one and the last corner just put one double crochet into there right so there you go so that's the end of your double crochet edging and as you can see it looks pretty nice with the edging as well doesn't it then you've got the contrast in back so I'm going to show you also now after we've tied off I'm just going to tie off this so let's just cut your yarn off and then tie in your ends once you've tied in your ends I'm going to show you how to do the corner loop and this is what the loop looks like okay it's a slip stitch loop and it's a very simple just to hang your mitt up in the shower or wherever on a hook so I'm going to show you how to make one of those on this one here because I haven't got one on here but I'll show you if you wanted to have this I'll show you how to do that one okay so I've tied my ends in and I'm ready to show you how to do the um, the, the loop at the side so that we can hang this up and to do this you just grab your white yarn or whatever color yarn you can even use the blue yarn if you want and you want to go into the corner any corner will do I'm going to go into this corner just here and I'm just going to put my hook into this any corner space just here here or here it doesn't matter really it can be here it could be anywhere I'm just going to put my hook into there just like that and I'm going to just put my yarn pull it through okay now what you need to do is you're going to chain um, I think I chained 14 or 15 or 16 something like that so I'm going to do the same now I'm going to chain about 16 so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen that should be about right you can have it yeah that's about right because that's what I did with the last one so if you want it longer you can make the chain longer but it's entirely up to you so now for this bit we're going to now we're going to just slip stitch we're going to slip stitch into the same space that we actually made our chain into so just find that little space and pop your hook back in and pull up a loop and slip stitch okay so once you've done that then you turn your work around here this way and you're going to slip stitch now all the way around so you're going to just grab your there it is now you need to go into the very first so that's that one there pull up this and go into the very first chain and slip stitch like so slip stitch Go into the next chain and slip stitch again into the next chain and slip stitch into the next chain slip stitch into the next chain slip stitch and carry on going all the way just slip stitching all the way around the whole of this chain like so So 
So you've got a thicker loop there rather than a small chain. You've got a thicker loop. So I'm just going to go into every chain and slip stitch. That's all we're going to do. There we go, till the very end, you've done the whole lot, then you then you just do your last, I'm just going to pull that tail end so it's nice and tight, there we go, and I think I've got one more slip stitch to do. Slip stitch that last one. And then once you've done that, you then stick your hook back into the same space again and do another slip stitch. Okay, and then you just tie off. I'm just going to cut that off like so. And just tighten that up. So now you've got your other loop. There you go. So what you need to do is just you need to sew your ends in. There's some ends there. That need to be sewn in and then you've got your loop there you go sorry just zoom out so you can see properly there we go that's your loop attached to your to your mitt and of course tying your ends so you've got two ends in here so you need to just tie them in and I'll just show you how to tie one end in so I'll show you how to tuck it away nice and neatly and if I just get one of my needles I can just show you that one so thread your needle and there's a seam just there and all you've got to do is just go through the seam so your ends are nice and tightly woven in and back and forth again until you're satisfied that's secure okay so I'll let you tie the rest of your ends in and I'll come back to you in a moment Okay, so this is finished, all completed, with your little loop as well. And there you go, there's your lovely little cotton wash mitt, waffle stitch wash mitt. You can pop your hand right in, it fits perfectly well. You've got the contrasting colour at the back. You've got the front. This bit, you can scrub both, both your back and front, it's very scrubby. Um, it's really, really comfortable to put on your hand and use and of course you've got this lovely little loop bit here which you can just hang up and just put it onto a hook and there you go that's your wonderful wash mitt I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you made one of these um, or made several you can give them away as gifts even um, and like I said you You've got variations of colours you can use. I'll put the links in the description box below of the colours that I've used in these projects. And uh, yes, well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe. And watch out for more of my videos. I'll be posting more and more of my crochet ideas into my videos. And I hope to see you back soon. Hope to see you back here on my channel. See you very soon. Bye for now. Bye.